My name is Ms. Zimmer and I am your music teacher at Blackshear Magnet Elementary. And today I wanted to teach you how to access your new Quaver classroom. It's different from what we were doing last year. First, you are going to need to pull out your Chromebooks and log in. So take this moment to pause this video and sign in to your Chromebooks. Now that you have logged into your Chromebooks, you're going to want to make sure that you have a Google Chrome tab open. So go ahead and click on Google Chrome. Now, when your Google Chrome has opened up, you're going to want to click over on the right and on your computer, it will say ECISD. So go ahead and click where it would say ECISD for you. Now, you only have three or three or links on this page. The one you need to find is going to be your very last link that says class link. So go ahead and click on class link. After you have clicked on class link, you're going to want to click to sign in. You sign in with the exact same or student ID and password that you use to log on to your computer. Once you sign in, you will see a lot of different apps on your screen. The one I want you to click on is the one down here, Quaver Music. Quaver Music has this little piano at the bottom. If you do not see this app, you will need to click on the search bar and search for Quaver Music. And then you'll want to add it to your screen. When you click on Quaver Music, it will first ask you, have you signed in with Quaver before? You will want to click no. After you click no, it will take you to your student dashboard, which looks like this. This is your student dashboard. You have five different tabs, assignments, student interactives, creatives, Quaver books, and Quaver street. The two tabs that you will use the most are assignments and Quaver street. If I ever assign or create a virtual assignment for you to complete, it will be under assignments. If you are sitting in my classroom and we finish class a little early, I will give you the option to explore Quaver Street. Quaver Street is filled with lots of fun games, different active musical activities, and different books that you can read. Let's take a look around the Quaver Street. So this is what Quaver Street looks like. Inside the music room is where you can find different games. Inside the shop, you can find some more games. The Metro is what you can take to learn about different genres of music. Inside the lab, you can also find more games in the studio, the music studio, and the actual music lab. Every single thing inside of Quaver Street is interactive. See? Now take this moment to explore some things on Quaver Street and find some games or activities that you like. 